Well, Camp Live Week continues with wild, wild animal encounters. You're, mm. you're walking along, minding your own business, and you come across a wild animal. What should you do? Uh, you, huh? should, you should run, run away and scream. <laughs> well, here's what you really should do with, uh, with all the info is Animal Planet's large predator expert from Animal Bites, Dave Salmoni. Hey, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hey, guys. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining us. You know, Mark and I are constantly Googling because we're big hikers. So we Google all the time what to do if you encounter A, B, and C. Usually like bear, uh, coyote, mountain lion, mountain lion yeah. um, and elk. Okay, so take us through what should we do if we come across a mountain lion. Now, first of all, be careful what you Google. You can get some bad advice. Uh, the way I like to break down animal encounters are, typically speaking, if you're out there, you're camping, you're hiking, you're running, whatever you're doing, uh, I always tell people, if you bump into an animal, it probably knows you're there already, so just enjoy it. If that animal looks like it's being calm and you're being calm and everybody's relaxed, just stand still, be quiet, smile, show everybody, and enjoy it. Now, Obviously, when we're talking about those interactions where we're maybe a little bit nervous, maybe the animal looks a little bit nervous, maybe you're just nervous having that animal around. Now, in that particular case, I always tell people a good way to get them going is make sure they've got somewhere to go. Make sure you, you haven't cornered them or they've got no exit places. But if they have somewhere to go, you start yelling, hey, 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 and you clap your hands, make yourself big. If you're in a group, get together in that big group. Um, make, you know, if you have stuff, leave it around. Now, I always tell people also never go into the bush. If you're going to be in an area where all these dangerous animals are, I always say, bring your bear spray, bring your bear bangers, particularly the athletes like to go in the bush. These things are fantastic. And that would be sort of the next thing. If if the clapping and the getting together and, and the trying that? to scare them up doesn't what's work. What's a bear banger? Oh, what, what, what's a bear banger? So, uh, well, bear spray is obvious. Uh, and yeah. You can get them at any yeah. camping store, uh, and they'll teach you how to use them. A bear banger is a little about $7. It is a charge, sorry, a charge on a stick. Now, I just put the charge in. I put, I run with it in my pocket. And all you have to do, you'll see this little knob here. I put, take off the safety, and I go, and that shoots a charge like a shotgun straight in the air and goes bang, louder than a shotgun, and it'll scare any animal away. And it's a non-lethal way to get yourself out of a, a, a yucky situation. So uh, they're it's, really good. It seems good. like there's a there's a, a little prep there, right? It, so you don't want to. It's loaded. You you it's you, a, you oh, load it's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, so <laughs> I, I I run with it like this, and all I have to do to ch to get it up is switch this thing over, and it's ready to roll. So just have it in your Got pocket it. when you go, and you'll never need it. You have to get one of those. As what long as you have it. Yeah. No, it's as long as you have it, you won't need it. That's the that's the key. <laughs> I always tell about, people the best thing, you're never going to have a negative interaction, but it, you'll feel more confident if you're ready for it. It's not going to happen, but if you're ready for it, you'll enjoy the bush and the animals way, way more. Mm. I always feel like, it, you know, the most dangerous situation you can come upon is when you stumble upon a mama bear with cubs. Yeah, in, in some cases, that's true. So if you're talking like an inland grizzly bear, they're very, very protective. But in a lot of cases, particularly uh, black bears uh, and the coastal brown bears, if you're bumping into them, they typically know you're there. Their senses are very, very keen. And a lot of these bears are kind of growing it up amongst people hiking and jogging and doing all these things. So once again, you go back to my first bit of advice. If they're relaxed, stay relaxed. Now, particularly with a black bear, mom will make this scary noise. <laughs> And that's to make you stand still so the babies have enough time to run up a tree. A baby black bear can run up a tree just as fast as it can run along the ground. So just stand still. As soon as mom thinks its cubs are away, then she'll run away and everybody will be fine. Uh, the mainland grizzlies, now they're ones, that's why people wear bear bells. That's why people, you know, stomp loudly. That's why people are kind of making yeah. a little bit of noise in those areas when they're hiking because you just don't want to stumble across a mama bear, uh, those inland mm. grizzlies. How about raccoons? In the middle, if you see a raccoon, let's say in the middle of the day, does that does that mean it has rabies? I mean, what what should you do? 
That's a number one sign for sure. If they're if they're walk stumbling around, looking a little bit a drunk, little bit drunk, acting oddly, they're a nocturnal animal, so you don't want to see them during the day. So number one thing, if you see one, avoid it. Call animal control. But also, I always warn people: keep your pets away because if your dog is one of those dogs that chases squirrels or birds or whatever it is. A rabid raccoon, they will catch. And if they bite into it, they are going to be exposed to rabies and you can have a major Ugh. problem. So if you see anything like that, lock your pets up, uh, call animal control, and uh, you'll be better off. Well, we really appreciate Thanks, it, Dave. Dave. Thank you so much for all that good advice. I feel like I could talk to you for about five days and not get enough information. I really uh, well, appreciate you chatting with us today. Stay safe inside and outside. <laughs> That's good, you too. We'll, Thanks for having me, guys. Enjoy the bush. Yeah. Thank yeah, you so much. We will catch Dave on Animal Planet. Uh, he's got a digital show called Animal Bites, uh, new episodes every Friday. For more information, you can go to our website, kellyandryan.com.